What up, what up, what up, jabronis? My name is Norman the Whisked, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new and upcoming mobile and gacha game releases for November 2021. Now, October was a little bit of a dry month, but November, November's got some bangers. So uh, let's take a look and see what's coming up. First on the list, we're going to be looking at Tales of Luminaria Global, which is going to be launching on November 4th. This is developed by Bandai Namco, and it is a gear gacha, and there are a lot of slots for your characters. And so that might be worrying a bit of people at the, from these, you know, upset, but let's give it a look. It is going to be a action RPG with real time gameplay. And so it looks like it'll be a little bit of a, a party base where you can switch in and switch out. Um, you've got kind of stances that make your characters do different things. The premise of the game is that you're going to play as one of the 21 playable characters. And I think you're going to switch as the story progresses. And you're going to basically witness the classic tales of story or that's the hope i guess it does have cell like graphics and i do think they're quite nice the gameplay looks like it's going to be kind of fun but uh, i think this is going to live and die on the gotcha so let's uh let's wait till we get there and take a look at the next one next on our list is lineage w global releasing on november 4th as well so this is a Korean MMO developed by NCSoft uh, and it's got a customizable player character. So you're not playing as a pre-made, you're playing as a custom made. NCSoft is a huge name in terms of gaming, in terms of MMO specifically. They made Guild Wars 2, Ion, and Lineage 2. And so yeah, you've probably heard of one of those. But this is probably made by their smaller mobile games team. You know, a lot of these companies, they come with a lot of different teams probably one of the smaller teams and probably the same as lineage 2. now one red flag is that lineage 2 is very renowned for being super pay to win in a pvp focused game but it does have a big audience and a lot of people do still enjoy the game so you know just just consider that as you play it it is a class-based mmo i th i believe you play of as one of five classes at least from the start and again it looks like it's going to be very pvp centric but of course they're going to have all of those classic mmo staples like raiding and team battles and things like that with that we're going to look at another mmo release that's coming up in november next on the list is going to be ragnarok origin global releasing on november 10th this is developed by tencent and published by gravity so tencent has a bit of a reputation of course they're one of the biggest chinese companies or companies really in the world even own a stake in riot games but so far they've released some pretty quality uh mobile games it's looking specifically at alchemy stars which is probably one of my favorite games of this month or of this year this is going to be an mmo rpg with customizable characters so again it's going to be a custom character not a pre-made it did already have a beta and uh i didn't get to actually play the beta but it looked like kind of your standard run-of-the-mill uh auto path mmo you do have this interchangeable job system by the looks of it it looks like you've got a base level and a job level and so that could lead to some cool uh kind of customization stuff and of course if you like mm mobile mmos the ragnarok ip is such a big name you're probably gonna like this one as well so stay on the lookout for it and I'm not sure if there's any gotcha mechanics with this, but we'll wait and see. There's definitely going to be a cash shop. Coming out next on November 10th is also going to be Revived Witch Global. And this is developed by Pixel Neko and published by Yostar. So this is your standard kind of gotcha game. Uh, key premise is to collect characters. And really, the one of the most kind of distinct things about this game is the graphics. They have these kind of like really really beautiful pixel graphics sort of kind of similar to octopath traveler or in that sense where they're 2d in a kind of 3d 2d 3d world it's it's kind of like a mix and it really has to do with the perspective but i think it looks great uh outside of combat the characters are actually live 2d and if you know anything about me you know that i am a live 2d simp i love live 2d as long as it's implemented well the combat is turn-based in a way the characters do auto attack but you basically are just waiting for cooldowns to you know do any of your manual input and so kind of similar to a lot of gacha games really the kind of key seller is going to be the graphics and perhaps the the gameplay loop and how that goes on so i do really think this is one of the more promising releases of the year and so let's let's wait and see and hopefully we got good news Next up is Grand Saga JP. 
that's coming out on November 18th. This is developed by NPixel and it is an MMO, but this does have non-customizable characters. So you are playing with pre-made characters. And the reason for that is because this is a mobile MMO gotcha. So you're still pulling for units and uh, you're basically assembling a team of units, sort of like Genshin Impact. Outside of combat, there are live 2D characters. And so something for me to look forward to. Um, and it is an action team building combat. So like I said, it's similar to Genshin Impact. You're switching between characters to combo things up. And yeah, I think it looks cool. And really, I'm just hopeful for a global release. So the last game on this list with a confirmed release date is going to be called N Innocence. This is going to be a JP release that comes out on November 24th. So this is going to be a hero collector. And I think in my opinion, it's got really, really, really impressive art style. I really like the way that this game looks. The gameplay looks to be kind of like a 2D side scroller action game, but it actually reminds me a lot of fighting games like Last Blue or, or actually more specifically Marvel vs. Capcom, especially with the way that the, the other characters in the party come in to do like one attack and then go away. I don't know. I think it looks really cool. The character animations, just the regular battle animations look really nice and really fluid and the skill animations look amazing. And so, yeah, this honestly reminds me of like kind of like a Guilty Gear type of art style slash game. And so uh, here's hoping for global guys. But if not, I'm going to check it out on JP and we're going to see what's going on. Now for the next games, these are the ones without a confirmed release date. The biggest one on this list is probably going to be Blue Archive Global, developed by NAT Games, which is a subsidiary of Nexon. Now, this is going to be one of the biggest mobile game releases of the year. I mean, everybody's been waiting for this one, but everybody's been kind of a little shy about it because Nexon has probably one of the worst reputations in terms of mobile game companies on it. Anyways, it is a RPG waifu collecting gacha. It's turn-based com combat in the same way where you're toggling skills and uh, positioning units, I think, but they just auto attack between skills. And so they're basically gonna play by themselves. You, you just choose strategically when you wanna deploy their skills. The game has a really, really high production value. I mean, everything about the game feels super polished. And I think that's really the big thing people take away from this game is that it is a very polished experience. And yeah, I think there's a lot to look forward to in this game. And so I'll be covering it on the channel and, and we're going to take a look. Next up on the list is Seven Nights to Global. Now, this is developed and published by Netmarble and it is a hero gacha. Obviously, it's a sequel to Seven Nights 1 and it is an RPG uh, built in the Unreal Engine. So it does ha feel like it has more of like a Western look. So you are basically, you know, doing gotcha things or collecting units and you're progressing through what looks like it's going to be actually a pretty cinematic story if you're into that. And then you've got multiplayer functionality like boss raids. And so, yeah, it's one to look out for. If you've played Seven Nights 1, you're probably going to want to check out Seven Nights 2. And uh, I'm going to check it out too. Let you know what I know. Last on the list is probably the most unique one. It's going to be Final Fantasy 7 The First Soldier. And so this is a mobile battle royale game with a, some of a kind of like a Final Fantasy mix, like a Final Fantasy gimmick. You're going to land in Midgard and you're going to fight, loot and survive to be the last one standing. You're going to defeat other players and NPCs for drops, of course, of loot and things. But you're also getting experience because as you play this game, you do have like a level up system. You do have a character progression per match and you know, that's kind of the Final Fantasy aspect of it. You do have magic in this game. And so you get magic, you can swap out between magic, you can combine, I think, your magics to be even stronger. N not like Kirby style where you're combining two different ones, but I think you can combine the same version to create a stronger version of it. And so I think that there's going to be some people that really like this, you know, the PUBG slash Call of Duty mobile crowd. You might have something to like here or just regular Final Fantasy fans. Uh, I'm not sure how the monetization of the game is going to look like. If it's cosmetic only, then I think, you know, we're in a pretty good spot. There's a lot to look forward to. If there's pay to win mechanics, then this kind of throws the whole thing out the window. So anyways, we're hoping. Oh yeah. And the best feature is that you can ride a chocobo. So in battle royales, you usually ride like a car or you find like a vehicle. It's Final Fantasy. You ride a chocobo. 
for that reason i'm there day one i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna let you know what i think all right so with that that is going to be the november 2021 got new releases and gotcha games that are coming up uh, there's kind of a healthy mix of mmo slash gotcha in there i do think that this month is looking to be a really really good month in terms of releases again if you look back to october i mean we had slime isekai memories we had mythic heroes which is kind of kind of nice but we didn't really have these kind of big name releases and so we're getting up towards the end of the year i think that uh maybe in this month we're going to see one of the best games of the year one of them is going to be a winner i'm sure anyways with that let me know which game you are looking forward to the most out of this list i'm going to be covering all of them so if you did like this video and you're looking forward to my thoughts on the games please consider a like or subscribe i'm a super new channel and so any little thing helps me at this moment it's super super appreciated and yeah that's all i got so with that i'll see you later jabronis peace